Hey there, Chrissy Tobis here for Thermal Web. I'm going to show you how to make this card today, and I did a new to me technique. So, using those adhesive transfers, I actually added some flack onto them. So, I was super excited about that. But first, I'm going to show you how easy it is to foil this background. I'm just using these new toner card fronts, they're called Love Struck, and I'm using some Gina K Fancy Foils with sparkling silver. And literally, all you do is you cut it and you put I would say the silver side down, but in this case, the less shiny, the more dull side, silver side down, and run it through a laminator inside either your parchment or your carrier sheet. I prefer the carrier sheet. They seem like they work better, and um, sometimes my, my parchment, um, I don't get quite the amount of foil to stick, but I think it depends upon your climate. So next thing, um, you can see I pulled out some of these patterned papers because I was just kind of like... I didn't really plan this one out. It was just kind of going with it. So I have the Gina K adhesive transfers, and then I also, I'm going to use the uh, Love and Kisses ones as well. These adhesive transfers from Gina K are called Love Is. All you do is you cut out the design you want, peel off that back, do the exact same thing as you do with the foil. You run it through your laminator inside the carrier sheet, and then you peel it off. You could kind of see it there, like it's a little bit tricky, because it's clear, but then you would put foil on top of it normally and run it through your laminator again. I put the flock down on top of it and ran it through my die cutting machine the way that I would um, it, when I'm using flock with other adhesives. And I love the way it came out. It is so crisp. Um, I, I was kind of worried. I didn't know if it was going to work. This was just kind of like, hey, I have this idea. I'm going to go for it. And it did. So I was super excited. So then just to create the card, I had uh, these edger dies from Whimsy Stamps, so I um, die cut that sentiment, and then I wanted to have the flock kind of carry through as well. So I'm going to have the flock on the sentiment, and um, in this design you can see, so here, I'm actually putting those adhesive transfers onto something I already foiled, and we're going to do the flocking process again, and it works. I was feeling super adventurous. <laughs> And it was totally fine. And then afterwards, I was like, I should have done a couple at once because I didn't want to run through the flock through again just in case. I didn't want it to go through the laminator. So this is a learning experience for me, too. So maybe next time I'll do this, I'll do a bunch of flocks at once. I can cut different colors out and run them all through at the same time. Or at least put my adhesive transfers all down at the same time and run them through the laminator. So then I also decided, because I was having so much fun with this flocking, that I was going to do these cute little lips, too. And this is from that one I mentioned, It's New. Um, it's called Love and Kisses, and it's, it's thermal, thermal Web Adhesive Transfers. Same process. Peel it off, run it through the laminator, and then I flocked it. So now I was ready to kind of put the finishing touches on and assemble the card. So I felt just that plain toner card front was too harsh. Like, I am not a big one for just white backgrounds. You know, I love to throw inks on there and splatters and all kinds of stuff. So for this, I just lightly inked some of it. I didn't want to take away from that blocking because again, super duper excited. So I just put some pink in the corners um, using some Catherine Pooler inks, and then I started to assemble everything. So for the lips, Definitely use some of my 3D foam. I wanted them to pop out. I really wanted them to stand out. So you can see I'm doing that. And then, um, so I adhered the flock down. But the thing with that is, and I actually, I think um, I'm going to show that next. You have to use liquid glue. But the flock is made to work with adhesive, right? So if I just put regular dry adhesive on there, it's going to peel that flock right off. And that flock is going to be on the back of this. So I use some of my Ultra Bond. And I mean, it works perfectly fine. You can see. And I just scraped it across. I didn't want too much of it and have it like buckle and everything like that. So I just pressed it down and boom, it was done. So um, just use my regular tape runner to adhere to the front of this card. Um, I didn't trim it down. I left it the exact size as the card. So there's no border or anything like that. And then my finishing touches were I have some sequins and then I had some of these clay hearts um, so I put the sequins on and then um, I put the clay hearts on and I did it using my Zots bling 
I use this constantly. I think I use this in like every single card that I make just because it's so perfect for sequins or other little things. So you can see I had used my tweeters. I had to bust those out. I haven't used those in a while because I wanted to align the hearts perfectly on there. I thought the three across looked really nice. So that is the finished card. Here's a couple zoom ins for you so you can see that flock and how fantastic it is. So I hope you're going to give this technique a try and thank you so much for stopping by today. Have a great day.